thank you so much for stopping by today and all I have to say is I feel like there's a stranger in my house in your house because I have been such a stranger on YouTube but today I'm bringing you guys an exciting video and this is with Wet and Wild Cosmetics and we have an exciting giveaway as well and you guys can win products to the value of 450 Rand so you have to watch this video until the end to see how you can win that but if you like to see how to get this fabulous makeup look and this amazing lip color on my lips then just keep watching and I'll see you guys at the end of the video so first up I'm starting off with the color icon brow pencil and this is in the shade brunette do it better and I'm going to be lightly filling my eyebrows in with this because I've just been liking a more natural brow so I'm just going in with small hair strokes um, and then I'll just blend it upwards just to make sure that any sparse hairs are filled in. And then to highlight my brows I'm going in with the ultimate brow highlight and this is in the shade highlight my life and I'm just rubbing this underneath my brow and then I'll use my finger to blend it out and this will just lift it and also give it more definition and then for eyeshadow primer I'm using the wet and wild eyeshadow primer which prevents creasing and I'm just using my finger and placing some of that all over my lid before we start off with our eyeshadow so because I like using matte in my crease, I'm going in with the Mega Glow Contouring Palette and this is in the color Caramel Toffee and just picking up some of this dark shade over here on a small brush, I'm just going to start working that into my crease and then blending it thoroughly. This is our transition shade. Next up, I'm going in with the Melrose at Night palette and I'm picking up this brown shade over here and I'm working that into my crease as well, slightly lower than what we did before but just making sure that we start building up the definition in our eyes. To darken up and define our eye, I'm going in with this dark shade which is the definer shade in this palette and on an pointy brush I'm just working that into the side of my eye and then we're going to be forming, forming a halo so you want to put it in the inner corner and outer corners first and then join it in the center to form a halo and fan that out as well this eyeshadow primer makes it so much easier to blend the eyeshadows so I'm just picking it up again and then making sure I'm really darkening that outer edge up quite a bit so for the halo part of this look I'm going in with the stop shade it is the base color on this palette but I'm just using my finger and I'm placing this in the center of my eye this is to brighten it up and just want to slightly blend it out with your finger as well then after I'm just going back in with a brush and just making sure that the edges are blended out so that it is a seamless transition between colors going in with a wet wipe I'll just be cleaning up the side and this is to sharpen it up for liner I'll be going in with the felt tip pen and this is the crayon eyeliner felt tip eyeliner and it is quite a nice eyeliner to use because it comes out quite pigmented as well and the eyeliner just glides on so I'm creating a wig with this and then for mascara I'm using the max volume mascara and I'm just applying this to my top lashes before we move on So I've already applied my foundation, I'm going in with the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Highlighter and this is a, well, as a highlighter, and this is the shade Medium Tawny, it is the concealer, so I'm going to be applying this underneath my eyes. And just here then I'm going in with the lighter shade from this contour palette again and just lightly dabbing that on so there is no creases 
This is a yellow shade so it will brighten up your highlight. And going in with the darker shade, I'm going to highlight my face and picking up a little bit on my brush and just dusting some off, I'm going to contour my cheeks and then my forehead as well. And then taking a smaller brush, picking up some of that again and tapping off the excess, I will be contouring my nose and just giving it some definition. For bronzer, I'll be using this massive bronzer and I'll be applying that on the apples of my cheeks and then just taking that all the way back into my hairline and this will give off that glowy, healthy skin look. And then for blush, I'm going in with pearlescent pink and I'll just be applying this onto the apples of my cheeks and this will just bring back some color into our face. For highlight, I'll be going in with the Mega Glow Illuminating Powder and I'll just be using the gold shade at the top and using it on a small brush so that I can apply this to the highest points of my cheeks. And then just using some on my brow bone as well. Going back into the eyes, I'll be using the two shades, the darker shades in this palette and then I'll just be blending it out underneath my eyes. And then to line the inner waterline, I'll be using Coal Crayon and this is in a black, this is a black coal liner and I'll just be lining the inside of my waterline just to darken it up. And for my tear ducts, I'll be going in with this pink shade and I'll just be placing that with the brush that comes in this pack. lips I'm going in with brandy wine and I'll be applying this all over my lips and then going in with the liquid catsuit all over my lips and this is in the color very recognized checking out this video and if you liked how I created this makeup look and would like to enter into my giveaway please go and subscribe to my channel down below that is rule number one rule number two follow me on Instagram it is at Chris Nation and rule number three follow wet and wild underscore SA on Instagram as well and you'll be entered into the draw for the closing date please check the description box down below and also any other information that you need will be in the description box down below I will see you guys in the next video but until then bye